I mean, it was crazy. We had, we could only film the backs of their heads and we could never, and we were not allowed to write about anybody using their last name. We could only write about them with their first name. And then it got so contentious that the school board asked me to take down the website. And so I had, in 1998, I had to take it down, even though it was a really good website. And it did not get put up again until 2002. After Verde was founded, the program, the Campanile program, continued to grow. And every year, in spite of what I did, there seemed to be 80 people signed up. And 80 people and one teacher is kind of an unusual ratio. And so after Verde started, then came Viking. And that was started, uh, the idea for Viking was started in a beginning journalism class. And um, that was pretty exciting to have a sports magazine. And so in 2004, I believe it was, two years later, three years later, Viking was born. And um, initially there was a, a teacher here named Miss Austin who Kit was hired to take care of Viking. And it turned out to be a great magazine. Again, it won a lot of national awards. And so we were, we were thrilled. But you know, this kept happening every two years. Another, the Campanile program kept growing. And then, every, then I would just start another publication. And um, so that also happened uh, with C Magazine. And uh, if you just think of all the publications there are in, in Palo Alto High School, that's how they all started. And there is only one newspaper and there is only one website, um, but there is also the video program, which I started also. <laughs> um, that is in focus, and I should tell you how I started in focus.